Let's create an engine mechanism that will have a camshaft that will drive two rocker assemblies, which in turn will drive our intake and exhaust valves. And I'm starting off in an assembly that contains a skeleton with a bunch of the datum features that I need for locating my mechanism components and a couple static components that will be used to assemble my rockers. So first off, let me go to the model tab and click assemble. And the first component that I'm going to assemble will be the camshaft part. And so let's just drop it on the screen about over here. And I don't see my axes. Let me go to my layers for this part. Turn on the display of axes and repaint, great. So this one is going to be capable of rotating. So let's change this to a pin connection and we'll pick the center axis on the camshaft and the camshaft axis from my skeleton part. And then to eliminate translation, I need to pick a couple of flat planar surfaces or datum planes. I have a datum plane in the camshaft part. I'm going to use the datum plane called front from the skeleton. And so far it tells me that my connection definition is complete. That's all I need for the camshaft part. Let's hit the check mark. And I've got my first component in there. Now let's assemble a couple of the rocker parts. And right now I don't see, need to see my datum, so let's turn the display off. And for the first rocker assembly, hit the assemble button. There you are. And this one will, again, be a pin connection for a one rotational degree of freedom. So let's choose pin. First thing I need to do is pick the axes to align, or I could use cylindrical surfaces. So that cylindrical surface there, and that cylindrical surface there. And for translation, I'm going to line up this flat surface and that flat surface over there. That looks great. Let's do this one more time. Assemble the rocker assembly. And this one, let's rotate it around. And right now, it's trying to use the same constraints as before. And for this one, let me actually change. Let's use this surface and this surface over here. Eh, close enough. Wait, no, actually that's wrong. Let me correct my mistake. Edit definition. And for translation from the component, I should be using this surface over here. There, that looks much better. All right, hit the check mark. And if I go into applications mechanism, you can see that right now I have three pin connections. If I stop rotating the model, we have the pin connection for the camshaft and the pin connections that I use to assemble the rockers. And the rocker, rocker assemblies actually have their own ter internal pin connections. But now I'm going to define the camshafts connections, or excuse me, the cam connections between the camshaft part and the rocker assemblies. So we will click on cams. And for the first one, let's use auto select. That way I can just pick this one surface and I'll grab all the tangent surfaces. And for cam two, and I like to use auto select when I can and pick this roller surface. OK. And properties, we're not going to enable lift off or smoothen the cam curves. So I'll click OK and the component adjusts location. Let's repeat that again. Cams and auto select. And this surface over here. OK. Cam 2, auto select and pick the roller surface over there. OK and OK, and they connect as well. Let's define a motor in here. So let's go to the joints, and for the first rotation axis, I can right click and choose Create a Motor, and I'm going to define the angular velocity, and let's do this 360 degrees per second. One rotation per second should be easy enough to see. 
and create an analysis. This one I like to use the kinematic solver and we'll just run this for four seconds. Four rotations, crank up the frame rate, and click the run button. There we go, that is moving the way that I expected it to, great. Let's click OK out of here and I'm going to close out, not save my results, so I can add in the other, uh, the intake and the exhaust valves. Let's turn on our, let's see, I'm going to need, need to see my axes and my planes. And first off, let's assemble the intake valve. So assemble and we're going to use valve in dot assembly and just drop it on the screen about over here and again I'm just adjusting it approximately where I want it to be before I start assembling with my connections and this one will have one translational degree of freedom that is a slider connection from the drop down list I'll choose slider and the first thing it wants to know is what axes I want to align. So we'll use this axis and that axis over there. And to eliminate rotation, I'm going to use this plane from the assembly that I am placing and the intake valve center plane. Whoop. Yeah, that's good. Let's use this plane over here and I can translate it down a little bit. And hit the actually I want to use I want to use a different plane let's use this plane over here there we go and hit the check mark and so now I have the first slider in let's assemble the second valve the exhaust valve and again I can adjust it roughly into place before I start putting in my connection from the drop down list, let's choose a slider again. And just like before, we'll pick the axis and the axis. And for eliminating rotation, looks like my plane I want to use is not visible. So let me just grab the datum plane called front from the part over there and this datum plane over here. I can use the dragger to move it approximately into place and then hit the check mark. All right, don't need to see any axes or planes anymore, but I'm going to turn on my point display for defining the cams. Let's jump over to mechanism mode again, applications mechanism, and two more cams to connect the rockers so that they drive the valves. So let's do a cam connection. And for the first one, I'm going to select couple curves on the rocker assembly to use and click the OK button and for cam 2 it's just going to drive this flat surface but when you drive a flat surface uh, you're going to need to select some points to define the depth display of how the cam appears on here and so that's good I'll click OK and adjust location Let's repeat that one more time for the cam for the exhaust valve. Cams. And select my curves for cam two. Select my surface. And then the points for the depth display. And then OK and they adjust location. I don't need to see my points anymore. Let me drag it over here to the middle and let's rerun the analysis. And there we go. Our cam is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and write a comment and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.